Yeah, this is it. Asmongold Ninjas, Perdition's Blade to Devil Sore Mafia. Hashtag Justice for Grenades. Hello, everybody. Chad for Ties back at it again with another video. Last Did he call him Chad? For Did he call himself Chad for Ties? Like, I mean, this is. Uh, uh, are you fucking. All right, all right, all right, let's go. I, I fell asleep during Asmin's stream, but oh okay. boy, Thanks. there's loot drama over a dagger rogue bis item Perdition's Blade. Yep. As far as I remember, this item is best in slot for dagger rogues up until AQ40, and even then, I'm not so sure that the upgrade is all that significant. Alright, Perdition's Blade. No problem. A great item. An incredible dagger. One of the most iconic weapons in World of Warcraft Classic. No, it's not, because nobody cares about daggers. Like, honestly, that's such a lie. Like, the only iconic weapons are staves and two-handed weapons and Thunder Fury. Like, and maybe, like, Maladath or something like that. Like, literally nobody cares about daggers. Like, there are no iconic daggers in the game, because nobody cares about daggers. I think that I have some ground to speak on this as I played a rogue on private servers for a, a, a short period of time, oh, up until about AQ40. Then. Not the most experienced of players, but yeah, I, I, I have an idea of what's going on okay. here. Let's roll the first clip, boys. Peach Pit with the 25. Okay. Grenades with the 99. Grenades with the 99. You're using swords, grenades. Give it to grenades, he's gonna go dagger spec right now. No. Well, I, I would assume so, I don't know why he wouldn't. Well, ask him, is that true or not? Actually, you know is what, it's based off of this. Grenades, what's your other dagger? If you don't have another dagger, you're not getting it. Yeah, that's right. Put your other dagger in and will not be traded. If you don't have another dagger, you're not getting it. That's if right. he plant, it's in the bank. Go to the bank. Okay. Uh, well, I'll then we did myself, this, and we'll go to the bank. We absolutely did this. Okay, let's go to the bank. Uh, oh, open up the. Uh... Now, the first thing that is rather confusing to me is they rolled off the dagger. Grenades won the roll. And they decided to question his motives. They wouldn't give yes. him the dagger unless he had another dagger in his bank. Free best in slot for dagger rogues, on the offhand, is essentially a blue BOE that you can buy off of the auction house. Right, yes. Is that... <sighs> if he intended to go daggers preemptively before the raid, and he actually did genuinely intend to go daggers, he would have already had daggers, but he doesn't have either of the daggers. Okay, True. Asmongold, that is because daggers are inferior in terms of DPS to swords up until you get Perdition Blade. It makes much more sense for grenades to be itemizing for swords up until he gets Perdition Blade, and then he can begin itemizing for daggers. Is there yeah, but he didn't say he was going to go daggers. That's the difference. Well, he didn't say he was going to go daggers. If he said ahead of time that he was going to go daggers, like the other people that were going to go daggers said that they were going to go there, then I would have let him roll on it. It was completely different. He did? Oh yeah, no, you're right. He did say that. He did say that after he after he won the roll on the dagger. He was like, okay, well now I will go daggers. So yes, of course, now he's going to go daggers because he just won the best dagger in the game. Uh, but before that, no, he didn't. Who cares? Who cares if he has a dagger in the bank? He can easily purchase one off the auction house that serves- And the fact that he didn't implies that he never intended on going daggers. He intended on going to spec that gave him the best loot because he was going to roll on everything. The exact same function. The reason being that offhands on rogues are really not that important. Really all you want is an offhand as a ro on a rogue is a fast weapon so that you can apply your poisons. Offhands are not significant. Main hands, aka Perdition's Blade, are the most is the most significant part of a dagger rogue. So whether or not he has a dagger prepared in the bank is completely irrelevant as he could purchase one Sorry. off the auction house in half a second. Anyone who's ever looked at a rogue pre-bis list knows this. 
There might be some daggers in a dungeon or two that are slightly better than an auction house BOE, and mm-hmm. I think Dire Maul releases a Prebus offhand dagger with plus six to daggers, but Dire Maul just came out. I wouldn't expect him to have that dagger just ready to go off the bat. In my opinion, Grenades run- won the roll. He won the roll. But let's continue because I feel as if their logic on this is completely incoherent. Let me go over there, too. Okay. Yeah. I- so about that part, I think it's completely wrong. I, I totally agree with that. Or sorry, I totally disagree with that. Uh, I think the fact that he said that he had the dagger inside of his, uh, in, his, uh, in his bank, and then whenever we went over to Ironforge, he didn't have it. Like, come on, it's bullshit. But I mean, come on, like that, that's, that, that's bullshit. I mean, come on. So what? So, so we lied. So he lied. Offhands are irrelevant. Well, he didn't have a main hand effectively either. For somebody that's planning on going daggers, like, for example, if I was planning on going Fury, I would have a one-handed weapon that I had set aside for whenever I got another one-handed weapon. That's just what you would do. And the fact that he didn't do that implies that he was rolling out of convenience and not out of his own plan. Uh, I... I, I want to sort this out, okay? Okay. Uh, I think there's a lot that could be said. I think it's really cut and dry when you brought up that you should uh, pass them to whoever rolled on the gloves in the first place. I think yeah. grenades passed on the gloves. I have a feeling you never planned on going daggers. It's just being green. Yes. That's why I'm so upset. Wait, what was this here? That's why I'm so upset. He's just being greedy. Well, rolling on every item is being greedy. Like it is, I, I would very, I would say yes. Wrong That's why I'm Adam so is being very greedy. Okay, um, is grenades able to get in Discord? He said he can't hop in right now. Okay. <coughs> oh, he brings what Peach Pit, who is a rogue who lost the role, by the way, as well as a warrior. I think it's Ozzy, yeah. who I believe also lost the role he did. To, to have them both discuss whether or not grenades should get the item. Can you imagine having two people who lost the role on a very important item decide whether or not you should get the item? That is completely unfair. I agree, which is why we had Cass and the other people in the raid there too. Uh, yeah, no, I completely agree. Obviously that seems unfair, but that's not what happened. Uh, Cass was there. Cass agreed with it. He's like the main rogue in the guild. He was one of the main people that was pushing for me to give it and loot counsel it to somebody else. And there's also tons of people in the raid chat that were saying it as well. You can even look whenever I bring up my raid chat during the, uh, uh, during the conversations about it. Of course they're going to come up with a million reasons as to why, uh, grenades doesn't deserve the item. Peach Pit, someone who lost the role, jumps to the conclusion that Grenades is simply being greedy for wanting the yes. item. Grenades passed on the gloves. I have a feeling you never planned on going back here today. It's just being greedy. That's why I'm so upset. And his r- r- rationale for this is that Grenades didn't roll on a set of leather gloves earlier in the raid that give a uh, dagger's expertise. It, it yes. makes absolutely no sense. If you're not currently dagger spec, why would you roll on a set of leather gloves that give uh, w- because you're planning on going daggers that's why that's why because you're planning on going daggers what the fuck do you mean not with no that's the way that it works you gear your character towards something that doesn't mean the oh well now i can't gear because i don't have perdition's blade you still fucking roll on it Jesus Christ. You're being great. Yeah, that, that's the way it goes, guys. Wrong? I'm not wrong at all. I know that I'm right. You know how that I know that I'm right? Oh, wait, what the fuck? Speaking of daggers, we just had a leg- an epic drop. Wait, what the fuck? Gut Ripper. Holy shit. All right, all right, I'm gonna need on this. Porsche won. Porsche, congratulations. So, yeah, we literally just had a fucking, uh, a, an epic dagger drop. 
Wow, uh, congrats. Well, I, I had to kill the uh, I had to kill the last boss, I'm pretty sure. Can you guys share the quest for uh, for ZF? I, I don't think I have them right now. Uh, yeah, I, I did lose a roll, though. It's the way it goes. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you get gone. Dagger expertise. This absolutely makes no sense. He, that is not an argument. Yeah. He passed on those gloves to give them to someone who could use them in that moment. He has no way of predicting the future and knowing Perdition's blade was going to drop. If well, a lot of the other rogues are using swords currently, right? And they have other daggers and they plan for it. And that's why they rolled on the dagger gloves because they knew that they were planning on going daggers. Uh, if somebody is not planning on going a certain spec, it's like if you get Edgemaster's Gauntlets, for example, right? Like let's say Edgemaster's Gauntlets are a, uh, you know, it's like a, a raid drop, and you roll on Edgemaster's Gauntlets, you can kind of assume that that person is not going to go arms because they're rolling on something, or that person intends to go Fury, even if they're arms, because they're rolling on things that benefit their other spec that they're intending on going. Uh, yeah, that's the way it works. If, if, if grenades had rolled on those on those gloves, yeah. you would be saying the same thing to him then. Oh, he's just being greedy. He saw an opportunity to take something, so he took the he took the gloves. He's not even dagger. It would be the exact same argument. It would be the exact same. Con no, it's not. Because the 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 argument that we made was completely within the context of the first roll. So how could it be the same argument if we? Yeah, here's why. You want to know why advertise is mad? You want to know why he's mad? Read his title. Advertise Asmongold Ninja's Perdition's Blade to Devil Star Mafia. Okay, Advertise has been on a crusade against the Devil Star Mafia for months now. Probably weeks now. It will be months soon. And this is why he's upset and angry. It has nothing actually to do with the fact that I'm, I looted the dagger to anyone. I, I could have vendored the dagger and Advertise wouldn't have made a video. The only reason he's fucking upset about that is because he knows that now it's going to be easier for rogues to dumpster him in the fucking crater. And he's going to have to make another video about it and hopes tips and I take it out of our tournaments. That's why he's fucking mad. That, that's the whole reason. This is, a, this is a complete hidden agenda. And it's not even hidden. That's the worst part about it. This is awful. Conversation. So this, this, this conversation, this, this, this logic is circular mm -hmm. and makes no sense if you think about it for half a second. Furthermore, I, I, hearing Peach Pit, Maybe you know, you think talk about, about more, someone else being greedy is rather is rather humorous, considering Peach Pit is part of the Devil Swarm Mafia. It is okay. humorous at best. Yeah, <laughs> I told you guys. I told you there's always an agenda. There's always a plan. There's always something that, you know, there, there's a reason why they're saying it. There's a reason why they're doing it. Now we see the true colors come out. Hear Peach Pit talk about yeah. morals and greed when Peach morals Pit is down greed. colluding with the Horde and Unbind, who is kicked for toxicity from Olympus. It is to, 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 they, clear, but, but by the way, there, it is clear to me that Peach Pit is trying to paint a narrative of grenades while grenades is not there to defend yeah. himself and his base. It, but I, I want to make sure this is very clear that we invited grenades on to come and defend himself. And I also want to make another thing clear. Uh, this is something I never really mentioned before, but out of all the rogues, Grenades was always the lowest damage rogue. Like, I'm not awarding gear based off of performance, but if I was, Grenades would be last in line. Like, I mean, he was. He was the lowest damage rogue by a long shot. Not by a, oh, well, he was uh, 15 DPS below cast. No, by a long shot, he was the lowest damage rogue. And, uh, yeah, there it is. And, uh, no, so the chat can get salty all they want. Here's the thing, is that I know, I, I, I don't, it's very important, and I know that you guys might not, might, might not understand this, but just please hear me out. It is very important to give the people that you're playing with some sort of sense of justice, and for them to feel good about raiding. And whenever they see someone who is, you know, at least based off of their perception, rolling for convenience is newer to the raid than the other people are, and also is the lowest performing of their class, receive the best item in the game for that class, that's going to make a lot of people feel like, what the fuck? It matters. Morale matters. Now, Advertise doesn't need to worry about that because he doesn't have any friends. 
But whenever you actually start doing a raid and you start playing with other real people, you're going to realize that you have to interact with other people and you have to deal with this kind of stuff all the time. And it does matter. This for these claims is absolutely uns unsubstantial. It is just that Asmongold is so easily swayed mm -hmm. by toxic people. I, it, is, it is hard for me to If that was true, then I would have taken your advice. Watch sometimes. This is why Jigsaw needs to lead Olympus, by the way. It's the second highest role. And as if Ozzy wants it after all this bullshit, he can have it because he rolled higher than me. That's fine. I, but not me. What does he mean, but not nades? Who cares? There's a roll for the item. There was no preconditions behind the roll for the item. He rolled for the item, and because- There are implied preconditions for rolling for any item. There are implied preconditions for rolling for any item. And the implied preconditions are you are rolling for the spec that you are playing as. Oh, really? No? Okay, well, how about this? How about next time that a Brutality Blade drops or something that's like a really, really good DPS item drops, like the Onslaught Girdle? Why don't I roll on it as DPS tank? I said I would roll on the second one or the third one, but not the first one. Uh, th this, is not, this is not the case. It's like if you, if you roll on something, it's like, for example, like a Hunter, right? If a Hunter rolls on a melee weapon and they win the roll on it over a melee DPS, then... I think the melee DPS should get priority because it's going to help the melee DPS a whole lot more than it's going to help the hunter. There are implications whenever you say to roll. All rolls are done with the implication of the off spec main spec. Because he just simply because he rolled for the item, he's a bad person. He's greedy. He's this. He's that. Imagine, um, just imagine if this happened to you. If you were in this raid, if you were grenades, you're mm -hmm. in there. Going, just having a fun time, going to raid, an yep. item drops, you're like, ooh, that's a good item. I could switch to daggers for that item. That gives me the chance. You roll on the item, hoping that you win. Maybe mm -hmm. you do, maybe you don't. And then following that, your name gets slandered and dragged through the mud by the people who lost the roll. And this is just absurd to watch. And you don't even have the opportunity to defend yourself. We asked him to come in. We asked, listen, we asked him to come in and defend himself. We did that. And so I don't want to hear any of that fucking bullshit. Uh, we absolutely said that. And uh, he didn't want to come in there. He didn't want to defend himself because he knew it was indefensible. And that's why he didn't do it. Uh, if he had wanted to come in there and say it, then it would have been okay. But the fact is, he was rolling on everything that he could because he wanted to go swords. And that's why he would have rolled. He didn't want to roll on the gloves. He was rolling out of convenience, and we caught on to it, and there's a lot of nubs out there that are upset because they did the exact same fucking thing. That's why they're mad. That's exactly why they're mad. I don't know why that- I, I'm I, even worried I, about the purd blade, honestly. I, and if I get the purd blade, then I win the gloves argument because at that point I'm fucking daggers. I already have a bone scraper. I've been trying to go daggers for so long, it's sad. And, and it is also strange to me that Asmin is just allowing him to speak like this. If I were the guild leader and someone were speaking to me like this, raising their voice over in-game pixels, I would not want to hear much more of what they have to say, because clearly their emotions are clouding their judgment. He is not dagger spec. What about making a whole video about it? What about that shit? What about that shit? Oh, what about that? Think about make a whole fucking video about it. But somebody gets a little bit angry about something and know though that that's what we want to kick him out. He's been well, using swords. Speech, so are you willing to use that logic for yourself, Asmongol? I I'm serious by that. Let's say Dark Edge of Insanity drops in AQ40, but you're currently a sword spec. Oh, you're currently a sword spec. And let's say you don't have an axe in the bank. You had no intention of going axe until you saw the really good item drop, right? It makes no sense at all. No sense at all. Of course you're gonna roll on Dark Edge of Insanity. Why would you not roll on it? He's been using... That's a dumb fucking comparison in here. Here's why is because Dark Edge Insanity versus a sword doesn't require any different gearing or anything besides that. And also, I wouldn't be rolling on it against other people. That's why we defaulted it to McConnell, right? Everybody would be off spec rolling for PvP. So, yeah, it is, it's a dumb comparison. Same with rogues. No, it's not. Uh, I just raised his voice over the game. Well, of course he did, right? 
Uh, chest so fucking stupid. Yeah, it, this is the thing, guys. It's like, I know that I'm right about this. Uh, I, I know that I'm right. And the, the thing is that everybody in my raid, as I said, everybody in my raid, the people who it actually matters what their opinions are on the subject, all agree with me. Every single one of them agrees with me. The only people that are disagreeing are people that aren't in the raid. Swords. And he doesn't have another dagger. Mm -hmm. So to me, that indicates that he's not particularly invested in going dagger spec. No, or he would not. have already had another dagger to begin with. That's Why true. would he? Oh my! Yeah, this just shows the complete ignorance of rogues in general. The, he has. There's no reason for him to be dagger spec. Daggers are inferior until you get perdition blade. It's circular logic. He is having his mind and his judgment clouded by people who are salty. They lost the role. It is that simple. He doesn't uh, have a second dagger. Are you sure he's not just bullshitting, man? Just to save face? He said that uh, he came as Devil Star set, and maybe it was a pass to fate myself because I came as dagger. If anything, this guy Peach Bit seems like he's the one that's bullshitting just the same things. Grenades has no motive in this. Grenades simply did what any player would do in the situation, which is roll on an item that is an upgrade. There is nothing inherently evil or wrong about that. What there is something inherently evil or wrong about is losing that role, being salty, and trying to slander somebody in front of 50,000 people mm -hmm. so that you get the item over them, which is ultimately what happens, especially when that person ha is not in the Discord call to defend themselves. If grenades... Listen. If he wanted to come in there and defend himself, he could have done it. He chose not to. I did nothing wrong. And I am completely resolute and confident in this. Every single player in the raid agreed with me. Every player in the raid agreed with me. Why is it that every player in the raid agreed with me and people that aren't inside the raid, people that are telling me that I can't zone into MC until I'm 55, are the ones who are disagreeing. Because they're brown nosers? What do you mean? Like, they're no, how could they be brown nosers whenever the initial reason why they were agreeing with me is because they were unhappy about my, my original decision to give it to grenades? I was going to just give it to them. But then people got upset about it in the raid, and I changed my mind. That's the only reason that I did it. I, I, I would have rolled off the item and gave it to him, but the people in the raid didn't want me to do it. That's why. Because it's your guild. Well, yeah, of course. Intended on going daggers. He would have rolled on the gloves that gave him the opportunity to go daggers. That's because true. they're apparently the best in slot gloves. Is that right? Very true. 100%. Okay. So that's what everybody wants. Peach to get the dagger. Uh, it's, it's your decision at the end of the day. Well, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, no, I'm asking the, the raid. Just to see like how they feel about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to give it to Peach. Uh, yeah, we're going to give it to Peach. Overwhelmingly, everybody in the raid thinks Peach should get it. Uh, everybody I in the raid. Not everybody in the chat. Not everybody in the YouTube video comments. Everybody in the actual fucking raid. The people whose opinion matters on this topic. That That's why I did it. Five people in the raid. It was like ten people, okay? It's the best move, to be honest. Yeah, I did what the raid wanted. Yeah, a bot of bootlickers agreed. Well, you know what? What, what, what? what do you mean? Like, how is it? how are they bootlickers whenever the entire, like, inception of this problem was them questioning my judgment? Like, well, how does that make them bootlickers? It's just, it's completely contradictory. Like, well, what the fuck do you mean? Like, how are they bootlickers if the reason that we're even having a conversation is that they were calling into question my judgment? I, I, what, what, what do you, well, how the fuck does that make any sense? Oh, it's kind of unfortunate for Grenade. Grenade has just heard 
a one-sided story from someone who is salty they lost the role, who is assigning evil intentions to grenades by, based off of zero evidence. Asking the raid to make a decision on this makes absolutely no sense. Asmongold, you're the killed leader! But based off of the fact that he didn't have another dagger uh, elected by the raid, based off of their, their voluntary participation within my raid. See, Advertise doesn't understand these things because he doesn't have any friends. He's never been in charge of anything. The only thing that he's in charge of is the graveyard at Ungoro Crater. That's it. And so he spends a lot of time there. He knows all about that. But whenever it actually comes into the real raids, it comes into the conversations and, you know, making these decisions that are not just simple. That's whenever, you know, he doesn't really know what he's talking about. And it does matter a lot if the raid thinks something is fair or unfair. So, for example, do you want to join a raid where loot is given in an unfair way? Now, let me just ask you guys that question. Do you want to join a raid where loot is given in an unfair way? Yes or no? Clearly, no. Clearly, you don't want to join a guild where loot is given away unfairly. So, I do something that basically, in their mind, at least, makes the loot fair. And by doing that thing that makes the loot fair, from being unfair, I'm doing what the raid wants. What's the definition of unfair? Well, to them, the definition was unfair was uh, grenades getting the item. That's the whole point that I'm making. Ready and prepared, and also on top of the fact that he didn't roll on the dagger gloves yep. implies that he did not actually plan ahead of time of going daggers, yep. and he was just rolling because it was convenient for him. And that's yep. why you roll. Why would you? That makes absolutely. That's why you roll on an item, Asmongold. You roll on an item because it's convenient. You don't roll on an item when it's inconvenient. That makes absolutely no sense. It does whenever you plan ahead of time that you're going to roll on those certain items. It does ahead of time whenever you're going to roll on those certain items. So the other rogues planned on rolling daggers. So before they even stepped into the raid, they took themselves off the list of something like Brutality Blade or anything else like that. So because they already planned on going daggers, then going swords and rolling on swords would not be fair for them. So that would be inconvenient for them because an item dropped and they didn't immediately roll on it. Again, this is a selfish mindset from somebody who spends all their time playing by themselves. Or maybe with one other rogue ganking level 50. Because of that, I'm not going to give it to yep. uh, to grenades. I think yep. it was a not a fully fair roll. Yep. And I think that, again, the intent was derived from the fact that he rolled on the gloves. Absolutely. And so he did not roll on the gloves. Uh, that doesn't seem fair. That's not... You're serious. You're seriously blaming grenades for not trying to ninja gloves that he couldn't use. Yeah. The other rogues couldn't use the gloves either. They were using swords as well, because they didn't have the daggers that they needed. They weren't using daggers to begin with. F oh, fate did. Yes, you know, fate, fate actually did, but the other ones did not. So, so yeah, I, I mean, come on. Like, that, I, I, I don't even understand. Like, this is the thing. Literally zero context here. Uh, you always roll because they're best in slot. Wait, what do you call it? Fate did? Yeah, Fate lost the gloves to Peach. Yes, and Peach, as far as I know, did not have the daggers. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But as far as I know, Peach ahead of time because he said... So... You guys are missing a bit of context here with this this conversation. So Peach and I had a conversation in Discord, and this was like maybe like I don't know three weeks ago or something. And he was like, "Well, I don't know if I should go swords or daggers. There's so many people that are competing on on swords. Maybe I should just go daggers." And I said, "You know what, man? That's a good idea. Why don't you just go daggers?" And so at that point, he agreed to go daggers, foregoing his opportunity to roll on swords because we had a conversation about it. Now, advertise wasn't there for that because he's not in my guild. Uh, he's not good enough to be in the guild, but you know, it, it, it's fine. I understand that, you know, you can't understand and be aware of everything, but I think that sometimes you should just, you know, listen to the superior players and, and just understand that sometimes we do know what we're doing. And we're going to give it to Peach Pit. Ozzy will get the first Deathbringer if he wants it. If he doesn't, it doesn't matter. And he will also get the next Perdition's Blade. Does that make sense? Let me get this straight. Grenades wins the role for mm -hmm. Perdition Blade. 
Yasmin decides that he doesn't deserve to get Perdition's blade yes. based off of very flimsy reasoning. Then oh, he okay. decides that his warrior buddy should get the first Deathbringer and and the next Perdition blade. Grenades won the roll. No, I didn't. I never said that. I I never said that. What do you mean? Wait, no, I said that he could have it if he wanted it, and the next Perdition's blade would go to him. Because he would be the only other person that could use it. Because grenades clearly went to go swords. Why would we give a dagger to a sword spec rogue? Because uh, Ozzy is a gnome, he's able to use daggers and have it be more useful for him comparatively than if he was a human because he doesn't have the plus five mace and sword skill. It makes complete fucking sense. Like, again, it just makes complete fucking sense. And now he's not even allowed to get the next Perdition Blade. This makes no sense. Well, because he quit the guild. And he will also get the next Perdition's Blade. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does Wait, so, anybody... Ozzy, so Ozzy is getting Perdition's Blade now? No, he's going to get it after this, yeah. Because that's the only two dagger rogues. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so they already have dagger. Okay. There's only I just, two. I was yeah. just curious. And Peach also has been in the raid longer. Uh, which which is even s -Fun is confused mission blade for fury warriors is only bis up until what ink what did he say bwl if it's even bis at all i, I seriously question that one but for rogues it's bis until at least aq40 this isn't even a conversation <sighs> oh my god and by the time I we get to aq40 we're gonna have like five of them mainly triggered by this and i just needed to get it off my chest mm-hmm Hopefully you guys enjoying this video. Until next time. <sighs> my fucking god. Absolutely unreasonable. Absolutely unreasonable. I'm surprised he's walking around. I would be furious if I were grenades. I would be absolutely furious. Listen. I roll only roll on items that inconvenience me. This makes sense. Of course, Asmund would want to equip the Devil Sword Mafia. Jigsaw would never make a mistake like this. You're right, because he's level 22. He wouldn't be able to get into the raid. So he wants the rogue to put points in a dagger spec before he actually had a dagger to prove he wants to play daggers. No, I'd want him to roll on items that would imply that he was going to go daggers. Grenades got crucified by the media. I think the dagger should have been given to a mage, because you want to max out your dagger skill on a mage before Cataclysm comes out, so you don't miss your attacks. Advertise is right about the Devil Storm Mafia in this case, too. Please continue to kank this horrible GM every day. If I was on Feralina, I'd send you some gold for your epic mount. The corruption in Olympus is disgusting. The fact that Asmongold is this shady over year makes it all the more satisfying watching you crap on his terrible guild members who can all get one shot by Westfall chickens. Listen. Listen, the decision that I made about this dagger was the best decision that anybody could have made. The only people that misunderstand it and have a problem with the decision are people who are outside of the rating team. All of the people that are actually involved in my rating team agreed with me and encouraged me to make the decision in the beginning. Because of that, that's why I did what I did. I made the right decision. And that's all there is to it. All right. So, somebody on Twitter has had a problem. And, uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. Random guild. Can we yoink you from your guild called Yoink and put you in Olympus? This form? is the rogue. Is it time for you to rejoin? Let me look at your gear right here, okay, Zarek? Now, you've worked very hard on your armor. You've mm -hmm. gotten a number of really, really great pieces, but yep. there's not a single item that you have from the Molten Core. Do you know why that is? Because you're in a, a dog-shit-ass guild yep. that's never going to raid. Let me go ahead and slash who your guild. There are two people online. Why don't you turn that two into a one and join our guild? Come on, yoink. Hi, this is Bathrobe Dwayne, leader of the Yoink Guild, with a message for Asmund Gold. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, are you good? Are you good? No, 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 you, uh, you took my... You know what the finger is up there for? 
It's for the amount of people. He's counting the amount of people in his guild. Elf Rogue, right? For Olympus 4 that uh, you don't even control anymore, Baldy. You lost the guild. Yeah. yeah you stole him because he needed that, but uh, are you good? Are you good? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. No, no, no. You lose every duel because you don't want engineering, but uh, are you good? Are you good? Okay, I don't lose every duel. That's not true. I win, like, most of my duels. There's a few duels where it doesn't go that well. But for the most part, I would say that I win I, I win the majority of my duels. Okay, guys? Uh, that's it. He's balding himself. He's not balding himself. He's fucking bald. You gave a pair of editions blade to a warrior. Are you good? No, I didn't. What do you mean? This is fake news. Like, I, I forgot all about this part, right? No, no, I, we didn't. We gave it to the fucking rogue. We gave it to the fucking rogue. Are you good? Pair edition. McConnell pff, made him join the fucking horde. Yeah? Because you're good, right? No, no, no. No, that's fine. Let's tell you what, Baldy. I challenge okay. you to a duel. That's right. A duel. See this? I won't even wear armor. Okay? I'll just wear my helmet, weapons, trinkets, and rings. If you win, you can have my framed Anixia playing card. Because I'm not going to need it. I've never even raided with my guild. Who needs it? It's from right. 2006 when I was a kid. Anixia's raid deck. You see that? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That sounds awesome. If I win, I want the tryhard emote unbanned in your chat forever. Because you know it's not racist. It's fucking happy. It's stoked. I got Everybody that uses too. it is stoked. Okay? We True. Can't, can't watch the rest of it. All right? We can listen so to what it. do you say, Baldy? Why don't you spin the wheel? He's spinning a wheel, and every single one of the little pictures that it can land on, every single one of them says bald. That, that, that's, that's the life that I live right now. Would you look at that. My balls with pink sparkles on them. So he literally just put actual glitter on his ball sack. So this is my community. And I can't say that I've ever been prouder. But what I can say is I will accept the duel.